Good morning, friends. Cheryl here with Inked Pulp, and we're back with another Art Before Breakfast. How are y'all doing? Did you guys have a good day off yesterday? I'm, I'm sorry about missing yesterday. I had some things that I really, really needed and wanted to get done, and I ended up not doing any of those because we had another thing come up. So what do you do? Oh, looks like one person's in. So I think this is going to be the journal that I'm going to auction off. Um we were going to auction one off, and I think Big Mama said that she wanted to auction it off so that I could have money to buy supplies for Art Before Breakfast, which I think is a nice idea. I actually need to buy some more glue and stuff. I do use a lot of supplies in here, but that's okay. Oh, this one. I forgot to cut this down. I didn't get anything done yesterday. I didn't put the, um, you know, ribbons in here. I didn't get anything done yesterday that I wanted to. I was supposed to get my show applications done. Didn't even touch them. And they're due by the 15th. So that's what I'll be doing today. Alyssa, hi, dear. How are you? We haven't seen you here for a long time. We've missed you. We have missed you. We're working on a spring journal. It was originally going to be three chunky signatures, but I have cut it down. We're going to make three separate journals because the signatures are getting so chunky. This is going to be one. Oh, thank you. Been busy. Yeah, I know about that. Hey, Nydia. Good morning. Have you been watching, Alyssa? Oh my, so I think this signature is the one that we're going to put in here. And it has room to grow. Oh, that's nice. I'm glad you came in to talk this morning. Always nice when people come in and chit chat. Hi, Mimi. So I'm going to set this aside. So I have two things left to do to this. I am going to spray it with Scotch Guard because it has a lot of white in it and we don't want it to get dirty. So I'm going to Scotch Guard it and then I still haven't sewn around. Um, so I need to do that. But Luis. All right, let's take a quick um, flip through of where we are and work on a couple of pages. I think we're darn near close to finishing up this, this particular journal. So this will be the front page. Then we have this on the inside. The next page. I love this page. I love it. And then we have this. Put a little bit of washi tape on back. And then this one. I really like this page. With the two inserts. And then we have a writing page. Um, so we've been doing either a sticker or a um, or some stenciling 
on these writing pages. What shall we do on this one? Should we just leave it alone? Shall I put something on it? Oh, we did. Let's see, there's a sticker on the back of that one. We did this one with the butterfly and um, hmm. Maybe we could just put some lace down the side and leave that. I haven't pieces down the side yet. I'm gonna leave that. This I want to find. Um, my darker gray. I have dove gray and I put it up here, but you can't see it. I want to go around with a little bit of gray and edge that because there's a piece of tracing paper there for writing on. And then that now. So here's the first and this is opposite this page. This is what we got to work on today. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe just some lace down that side because we got to go back through and figure out what pages we want lace on. All right, so we have this blank canvas today. I was thinking, and it doesn't have to be this fabric, I was thinking about a fabric flip that would flip up and have something underneath. I don't know what yet. That yellow goes really well with the yellows in here. Or I can pick another color. I certainly do have other colors. What do you guys think about a fabric flip? We haven't done one of those yet. Hi, April. So give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And then I probably still need to put some color down on this page. It's pretty stark, stark white. Um, ooh, I've got more rice paper. I could put some rice paper down there. Kind of dark. With scrappy paper, a little scrappy notepad. Yeah. Let's see. That's awful bright for our. Okay. How about well, that one's winter? Oh, I had taken some other papers out, and I guess I hadn't put them back in here. Some other choices that we had. So they must be in my... Doing well. I have to tell you guys my story about yesterday. I ended up... Oh. There's one... Um, I ended up not getting done what I wanted to get done, which really bums me out, but had to do what I did. Um, so yesterday, our freezer out in the garage where I have all my stuff frozen and stored. Uh, my freezer stopped working, the big freezer. I put something in there a couple of days ago, and it still wasn't frozen. The, um, I don't know that I want to use up either of those right now. Um, 
the stuff that was in there was still frozen, but how about that gray under there? That's vellum. And then we could do the flip over the top of it. So yeah, so I ended up, hubby had to come home early from work and we got on Facebook Marketplace and searched around because we didn't want to pay full price for a freezer. You know, it's just sitting out in the garage and I don't know, we paid like 300 for the last one we bought and it lasted us for three years. So we got our money's worth out of it. Um we ended up having to go down to Spartanburg, South Carolina. Um, to pick up. All right, what do you guys think about this? But we got the freezer, drove it home. Spartanburg's about 45 minutes away down in South Carolina. So we made a trip down there. Got a freezer, so today I get to transfer, plug it in, and well, clean it out first of all. I got to scrub out the inside, and then um, transfer all the food. Hi, Julie. So I'm trying to figure out what to do on this page, and I've been asking what the ladies think. I haven't gotten any answers yet. What do you guys think about using this vellum? You know what else I have? I have a drawer with a bunch of papers in it. Let's take a look at this. You like the vellum? So anyway, I ended up not getting done what I took the day off to get done, unfortunately. So I've got a big day ahead of me when I finish up here. Ooh. This is the other thing we could do. We could put down that paper and the fabric flip. That yellow really contrasts nicely. So there's an option. So I'm just going through this box of other papers here. Oh. This is actually embossed paper. This has real pretty floral print on it. And that one. looking through the rest of these papers here real quick to see if any of these others would work. Oh, here's an embossed one, same thing, but it's got like a copper tone to it. Oh, maybe this is the right one. Here's a, it's kind of got a green hint to it, but it's got, can you see the, what am I getting? Oh, I, um, it's my light. Hang on, everything. Went dark. Is it real dark for you guys? All right, hang on, let me find my remote here. 
Is that better? <laughs> oh, 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 the change in time. Yes, we had a change in our time zone or our daylight savings time. Yep. Okay. I don't know which ones I've got. Here are our choices. Well, I've actually got some other choices too. I don't if we don't like any of these. I'm not sure now that I look at this with this. What is going on with my light? You thought it was Tuesday. <laughs> so I've got this, which might be too similar in color. I've already made an executive decision. Um We could put this up higher, get some of that butterfly in there, and then put the fabric flip on with the pink and the yellow. Yeah, but they don't switch to daylight savings time, Mimi. So when we lost our hour... That made it an hour earlier for Julie. Do you guys like that? And it would be next to this page. It would be opposite this page. <laughs> Oh, you do? Oh, and not for a couple more weeks. Okay. I didn't realize you guys did the daylight savings time thing, too. All right, you guys, help me out here. Do you like that at all? Or shall we get something else? Maybe none of these pages really works. Oklahoma time. Yeah, there are, and it's my light. Um, hang on a sec. I have to um, unplug it and then plug it back in again. That should be better. That should be better. Now I gotta tone it down a little. It's too bright. All right. <laughs> there, how's that? Oh, Cheryl. Okay, I'm trying to figure out, so I still have this as an option, this vellum. It's kind of a nice, subtle. <laughs> Shirley Worley. All right, you guys. I probably have... Nobody's jumping up and down saying, yeah, that's it, that's it. So, let's see what else I have. This with a fabric clip over it, that's kind of pretty. And 
this would match this page really well. Um, I don't have any vellum with vertical stripes, unfortunately. We could do this, but that doesn't really have much pattern behind it. This green is pretty. Green is one of my favorite colors. Okay. This is a different one. Hang on, I'm losing part of my other signature here. Pam! Where'd that green go? I could do green and yellow, and that would be the contrasting page, I actually like that a lot. Oh, vellum with the fabric vertical. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm going to pull this one out for a vote. We'll have this and the vellum as options, and then we'll vote on it. Oh, look at here. I've got that for a background with this on it next to this. Is that too busy? <laughs> okay. Everybody's screaming for the vellum. Okay. I got you. I got you. All right. Vellum it is. Vellum it is. So, did y'all have a good day off yesterday? I said I ended up going to South Carolina and getting a freezer. <laughs> Nydia, have you received your package yet? It's on its way if you your happy mail package. Hey, and don't forget you guys, leave a comment so you're eligible for happy mail. A comment on the actual video once it posts, not here. I mean, you can comment here, but what counts towards the drawing is the, are the comments actually on the video. Let's see, I just want to make sure I get all of it. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Mimi. But I'm glad that you got a day of rest. If you weren't feeling good. got you highlighted up there on the screen. That's not what we want to do. Come on. Where's my mouse? There we go. Oh. Um, I didn't see it. Where did you send me a private message? I didn't see it, but you know, you're the second person who said they messaged me and I didn't get it. Oh, uh, do you like everything?
Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm focusing on this line. So I cut it straight. All right. There we go. And then I don't think this stuff tears really well. Ooh, I've got that on the side. Should I leave that kind of salvage edge on the side? Mimi, I think you got some of this fabric way back when. Should we leave that on the side there? I kind of like it. And I really don't think this is going to tear, but I'll try. Yeah, it's a little extra interest, isn't it? Yeah, this this fabric does not tear. That's probably enough. I don't know if it'll Nope, won't tear that way either. Yeah, it is. Hi, Lori B. It is Seersucker. And I seem to recall that back when I sold this, you because I had a lot of it, I think you got a decent sized piece of it. How do you explain seersucker, Mimi? Um, it's a type of fabric. It used to be, it's got like, it's, I think it's always striped and it's got like, it's got like bumps in it where the, where the ridges are. Um, yeah, it's very airy. A lot of men used to, I'm going to cut this down just a little bit more. A lot of men suits used to be made out of seersucker. You'll have to um, Google it, Julie. Um, I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, a lot of men's summer suits, especially, um, hey, Marie. How are ya? Um, but yeah, a lot of men's summer knit. Hey! I know. And it'll be a while before you get that hour back. Probably about six months or so. And one thing I know, uh, seersucker will not tear, as I've just learned. Okay, should I leave that on which side? I kind of like it on this side because you see it more. But in any case, we'll put a little bit of lace or something up there. And then I'll take this fabric flip down to about here. See how good my eyesight is in cutting straight. Okay, this piece is not straight. Uh, 
Okay. I kind of like it on the left better. What do you guys think? And I am going to pull some of these threads out. Darla, hello, my friend. Hey, Darla, you had asked me about invoicing on the sale. I um, usually invoice on the 15th and the last day of the month. So you'll get, you'll have an opportunity to get a few sales in. Um, it helps with shipping. So I will have, well, I don't know if I'm going to get another one up. If I, I have got so much to do and I didn't get to do what I wanted yesterday. Um, if I, have time I'll put another one up today if not um, I'll wait till the end of the month and invoice tried to make a video and it kept wanting to post upside down <laughs> oh my gosh you mean I would have had to stand on my head to watch you holy cow that would have been interesting Okay, I like it on this side. A little ruffle on this side. What do you guys think? All right, so there's that. And then we'll put some kind of a little bit of lace across here. And then this will be a flip up. Looks like this is the front side. I don't know which is the front. I'll figure it out. Um, this will flip up. And then, Mimi, did you say we should make a little scrappy notepad to go in here? <laughs> yeah, they'll show you some examples of Seersucker if you... Hang on. Let's see how it's described. Seersucker Wikipedia. It's a railroad stripe is what they're calling it. It's a thin, puckered, usually cotton fabric, commonly but not necessarily stripe or checkered, used to make clothing for hot weather. Yep, that's how I remember it, is the... Um, so let me show you, um, this is an Etsy store that sells it. This is what seersucker looks like, Julie, and anybody else who might not know. See how it's kind of puckery and it's real lightweight. Oh, there's some checked seersucker. I've only seen it in the stripes. And the most common one I'm aware of is the blue for, there's all the different styles they have. Yeah, it's a pretty cool fabric. It's old though. I mean, it's old. It's, it's a vintage thing. I don't think, well, I don't know for sure, but I don't think there's a lot made out of seersucker anymore all right so marie big mama i'm trying to get down to the bottom google indeed oh marie that's funny you got you got struck by auto uh, yeah. Hi, Luis. <laughs> you must be doing voice to text. Um, Big Mama, that would have been different. Okay. So, how about if I This is 
kind of lumpy, which is why I keep scraping or pushing it down. That glue stick doesn't, vellum doesn't work well with any glue, really. That is, there it is. That makes it a little bit better. All right, let's put that's too wide. That's too wide. Although that might be kind of cool under there. That's got the yellows on it. We could put that little pocket under there. And then when you lift it up, it would have a scrappy notebook in the pocket. And these colors all kind of work together. What do you think about that? Hey, Maria. All right, what do you guys think about that? Help me out, you guys. You like the pocket? I do too. And then the little flap <coughs> can just go down over the top of it, but not all the way. You guys want to zoom in? Here's what we're looking like. And then this is the other side of that. I think this pocket goes really well with this. <laughs> Marty, hello. All right. Time out. You like it, Julie? I think I'm going to go for it. <coughs> oh. Oh, and then this has got a little picture here of a little boy and his dog. All right, let's <coughs> mm. So I told you guys about my big deal. For those who just came in, I was telling I took the day off yesterday to get some administrative stuff done. I needed to get some show applications um, submitted before the deadline and <clears throat> so I just decided I was going to take a whole day and get that stuff done and off my plate well yesterday I realized our freezer wasn't our big freezer the outdoor freezer in the garage was not working so oh Just get the clothes, decide to turn on the art for breakfast. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done that, Big Mama. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so I spent the day yesterday on Amazon, or not Amazon, um, Facebook Marketplace. Julie, what's his name? What's this little guy's name? We can write it on the back. But we got a freezer. Oh, yeah. Thumbs up. I just did mine. So I have a new freezer now. And now I need to wash it out today and get the food all moved over. Because um, my other food is still frozen. It hasn't thawed. But it will before long because it's not freezing. It did this once before. And we had the repair guy come out and fix it. But he said it's going to keep happening. It needs a part. And. Oh gosh. No Mimi. I haven't done that. Now I have forgotten. We make a lot of um, toasted like garlic bread. 
And the way I do mine is I put it under the broiler for a couple of minutes and it it's really nice because it toasts the top of it and makes it all bubbly and garlicky. And then um, and then I forget to turn, I, I pull the bread out when it's done and I forget to turn off the broiler. And I've gone back a couple hours later, wondered why my kitchen was so hot. The other thing, and I tend to do this, oh my gosh, April, all the time, all the time. And then I have to go back in my mind, okay, I was sitting in the living room, what was I doing? I was doing this, and then I thought of, and I have to like go back and really retrace my steps. which is quite annoying. I think I might put a little dot of glue underneath that because he's not going to stay in there and then he can stick up like that. All right, so this... You know, the other thing I do with the washer, my washer will not um, start actually washing if the lid is open. So if I open the lid and put some clothes in, I put the soap in, I have it turned on so the water is filling in or filling up. And then <laughs> now I don't forget why I went in the bathroom that I, I pretty much remember. Um, but I'll put all the clothes in and uh, get all that done and then walk out of the laundry room with leaving the lid up and I'll come back in. I'll think, Oh, it must be about time to switch out that laundry and I'll go back in there and it's sitting there with a, a tub full of water and the clothes sitting in all that water. Oh, that's funny. Glory be the crazy things we do. All right, let's make a scrappy notepad. Um, Notepad. <clears throat> I've got all kinds of scraps in here. Let's see. I've got this grungy piece. I think it's okay to use grungy. Ooh, there's some purple. There's a little music paper. Oh, I could put a piece of pattern paper in there piece of that. I've got all kinds of stuff in here. Oh my, I have some butterflies to fussy cut. <clears throat> uh. <coughs> yeah. I had started this little scrap bin literally probably three years ago. And it's just been sitting. Oh, there's a pretty piece for spring. Um, it's just been sitting until I started cleaning up and then I found it. That might 
be too crunchy. That should probably be enough. Ooh, that's pretty. I don't know how big this paper pad's going to get, but I got all kinds of stuff in here. Look at that one. And that one. Okay. Let's figure out how big these pages need to be. All right, the paper pad needs to be about four inches by, oops, that's not the right one. Four inches by five. So we're going to make them four by five. So let's just start. And I know that I want to rip this, so I'm not, I was going to cut it on the I was thinking about whether I wanted to fold the pages over and make it four by five or just make individual pages. And I think I just want to make individual pages. Um, this one will be a little bit shorter. So that's four by... Four by five. You know, when I was working the full time thing, I had um, a cleaning crew that came in every other week and cleaned my house because I just couldn't keep up. I was working so many hours and making enough money that I could afford to do that. Um, You know, they're not that expensive. If you don't, you know, my house was never that dirty. It was just my hubby and I live in there. Okay, there's one. I'm going to use this as the template. They will have a couple of straight edges. Um, my house before he got here <laughs> boy I didn't we didn't I mean we had to do you know like the dishes during the week you know time betweens but I never I hadn't cleaned a toilet in years and it didn't bother me one iota Let's just make sure those are going to fit in there. Yep, it's just fine. All right, there's two. I, uh, yeah, I didn't. We kept it tidy, but as far as deep clean, like 
like scrubbing toilets and bath. I didn't clean a bathroom in many years. And then when I decided, little home in the valley. Well, hi, welcome. We love new people. So I have lots. I'm going to pepper you with questions. First of all, what's your first name? Second of all, how did you find us? And third, do you live in the U.S. or are you from abroad? And if so, what country? And if you're in the U.S., what state? Oh, Jen, you know. Okay, Jen. Okay. How did you find us? We're a pretty friendly group here. We're a very friendly, very welcoming group. We're also very interactive. So I will, St. Louis. Oh, found me on a YouTube search. Yay. Well, welcome. I go live every, well, I go live Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. I don't do Thursday because we have another friend who goes live on that day. And I didn't want to compete with her. So um we go live on those days and we do all sorts of different projects here today um we're finishing up a spring journal that we've been working on and nobody scares you ah, ah, ah. yeah we're a wild bunch i'll tell you what we have a lot of fun so what I'm making now is a little scrappy notepad, because you could write on all this. And I'll put some plain pages in too, but that's going to go in there. And then this little seersucker cloth is going to go over the top. And then this will be the opposite page. So I do need to put some more neutral papers in this. Let's see. And I had pulled out some things that were more neutral. There we go. That's not four by five, though. Um, yeah, Maria's still coming back, and Marie, and Darla. We've had we've had several new folks come in and decide that they were going to come back. What are you looking at, this grungy paper? We're not doing a whole lot of grungy in this journal because it's spring. But I did find this grungy page. Yeah, we're a lot of fun. And uh, Jen, I do, periodically I'll do just do little giveaways. Sometimes it's something we make and I'll just have have everybody randomly pick a number and somebody will win it or um i also have let me tell you about i like that for the front one that's pretty um let's try to do I know we have had so many new people. Um, so I do a thing once a month where um, if you comment on my videos throughout the month and I do this like after this posts and is live, if you comment um, for every comment, that you leave on the channel, you get an entry into my happy mail drawing. Ooh, here's this mulberry paper. It's not going to be quite as wide, but that's okay. 
um, you get an entry. And what I do is for each video, um, I use the random comment picker and I pick one winner. And then all of those winners, in fact, you can go back on my channel and see the one we just did for April. Um, all of those random comments, then go on a piece of paper and I cut them into strips. I know, I love visiting with them too. It's just so much fun. Um, so anyway, everybody goes into a drawing and the winner gets a happy mail package. And I put together, I try to put together a nice, some of the people who have gotten happy mail in the past could kind of tell you what it is, but sometimes it'll be, well, this last time for last month, it was, um, oh, let's do a piece of this tissue paper um, instead of the pattern paper. Um, I had been getting the Your Creative Studio boxes for a long time, and I stopped getting them, but I still have a ton of stuff from Your Creative Studio. And so I just put together a little Happy Mail pack. And um, Nydia actually won that one. Um, I did a Boho pack one time. I don't was that Rose who won that? I don't remember. Mimi's won a couple of times. Um, Big Mama has won. Um, who else? Anybody? Anybody else here win one of the Happy Mail? It's usually always kind of somebody different, but... Oh, you won the medals. Oh, yeah. I did one that was like filigree medals, a package. Okay. I could put a couple more pages in this. This is still not. All of them. Anything posted during the month, Jen. So anything, you can go back on the ones in March and leave comments. Anything that's posted on my channel that you can access from my channel. The live streams while they are live, um, your comments in the chat here, those don't count. But once I end it, this stream will actually post and um, then it does count. So anything I do, uh, Marguerite Miller challenge, I do... Um, I do some sale videos. a piece of this packing paper it's that great sound so yep after the live is over you just go back and comment and some people go back and comment like right away as soon as the live is over they're in there putting their comment in just to you know get it done so they don't forget then others come back some kind of make a mad dash towards the end of the month and leave a lot of comments and I'll tell you I had a selfish reason for starting this giveaway but everybody loves it so much that I have kept doing it when I was trying to get to a thousand um oh, I haven't gone back and I got busy yesterday with the freezer thing and I didn't go back and look April I need to do that um Anyway, Jen, when I was trying to get to a thousand viewers, my selfish reason for doing this um, was that I wanted more viewers and I wanted to get in the YouTube algorithm. So they promoted me and showed me in search, like the way you found me. And so I thought, well, the more comments you have, the more interactions, the more the um, algorithm will pick you up and show your stuff. And so oh, how about if we do one of these? Let's see, we've got that and that and that. 
And then let's do this one. Um, so I thought it would be a win-win if you guys, if I could get you guys to post more comments, because, you know, people don't always like to post comments, but there was a payout at the end for you. So I thought it was helpful to me because I get more comments and helpful to you because you have a chance to win some cool happy mail. <laughs> And I hit a thousand. I'm almost to Oh my gosh, yes. Do you have a channel, Jen? And do you um the other thing I forgot to ask you is do you do um paper crafting, journals, anything like that? Is that What food situation? You mean um, my freezer? Yeah, it's fixed. I just got to transfer over the food. That's what I'm going to be doing after I finish this video. I'll go upstairs, have some breakfast, and then... Um, and then I'll get to work on that freezer. I got to clean it out. It's not the cleanest thing. It was sitting in somebody's garage. Y'all know how that goes. Oh, thank you, Marty. Marty put up your um, channel, Jen, so everybody can go and subscribe. All right, that's probably enough. That's a good amount of scrappy pages in the paper pad. Come on. All right. So now what I need to do is... Um, Figure out how I'm going to put these together. And I think what I might do, because this, and then I might have to put a different one on the front. Mm. I was thinking this red really matches. And I could put a little topper up here and then that matches here and over here what do you think about this oh yeah the freezer yeah that was not in our budget so wasn't money we had planned on spending but but we needed it. All right. Oh, Marty, you're such a dear putting in everybody's stuff. So I have some big news about hubby, you guys. You know, we are really close to retirement. I turned 65 in August. And hubby turns 65 the following January. I am six months older than he is. And we're so close. And he has worked so hard his entire life. I mean, he is just a workaholic. He doesn't call in sick. He doesn't. He just, he's just a good employee. But he's been getting just tired lately. And he told me, he said, I am just tired of working. He said, physically tired. And he says, I've been thinking about quitting and going and finding just some kind of like menial job just to, you know, bring in some money until we start collecting Social Security. 
And so the other day, he went in and gave his notice. And he has no job lined up. It's just he's going to take some time off and then go. I think he might. We have an Amazon distribution center near us, and they're always looking for people. Oh my gosh, Jen, my hubby is so, and he's just been such a hard worker and April 30th. Yeah. That, well, that's the other thing with my hubby is the stress. And so, you know, not sleeping well at night. He had, you know, we're doing this plant-based diet thing and he had got his blood pressure down to normal. Well, it started going back up again. This doesn't look like it's on here evenly. So anyway, he's gonna, um, he told him he would stay at, in the, in the business he's in, people don't typically, oh, rat rod, oh, my hubby would get along with yours so well. All right. That looks crooked to me. It doesn't look like it's the same on both sides. But I guess it is. You do love, oh, a Taylor Swift for your granddaughters. Oh, we have, um... Uh, Crafty Shamrock, and she did a Be Right Back, so I don't know if she's here right now, but, um, okay, what do we think of that? Do you guys like that as a topper, or should I pick, like, a yellow or something different? Is that too, ooh, plant-based chocolate. I've not tried plant-based chocolate. Um... But please give me some input, you guys. Yes, just yes or no on that topper. Is it, whoops, let me come down a little bit. Is it too, you like it, Maria? Okay. Well, if you like it, then I like it. Yes, yes, yes. I know there's so many. How many people do we have in here? 17. All right. So what else do we need to tell Jen? Um, we told her about the happy mail drawing. Um, I guess that's it. I do sales, Jen. I do, but I do mine as video sales. In fact, I have one posted right now. Um, if you're into buying supplies, um, mine are all like from, I thrift and I, I get mine a lot of different ways, but um I do sales periodically. Um, hang on a second. I'm looking for something that I cannot find. Why can I not find it? I'm looking for my little tiny hole punch. Well, hmm. Let's do this. What I'm going to do is put home based chocolate. Anything chocolate has to be good. I know. Oh, see, I don't like Lindor. Uh, I don't like white chocolate. Just not my thing. Just not my thing. I'm just going to go through this with an all. Chocolate hummus. No. And you know what? I eat hummus like crazy. I eat hummus with carrots. 
and hummus with crackers, rice crackers. Hmm, that's not going through. Big Mama, those are my favorites. Oh, I don't like white chocolate. Come on, come on. There we go. Me too, Jen. Me too. Hey, have you guys all done your thumbs up? Well, white chocolate isn't even chocolate, technically. All right, there we go. I have two holes in there, and I think I'm going to make them a little bit bigger. <laughs> yes, it's a poser because it's really not chocolate. The only time I like white chocolate is um, in macadamia, the white chocolate macadamia nut cookies. I do like that. Okay, I found what I did with all my, like, twine and stuff. I found this little box when I was cleaning. <gasps> Ooh, yum. Yum, Mimi. I want to start trying some um, baking with the whole plant-based thing. Because there are egg substitutes. I made some cornbread and I used aquafaba um, as an egg replacement. And that actually worked out really well. And then I just used a plant-based milk for... Oh, bye, Big Mama. She got a phone call. All right, come on. Go through here. Mmm. Yes, I have thought about that. So, Jen, um, one of the things that these folks know, I, uh, my husband and I recently um, switched to a plant-based diet. And there's a few in here who do the same thing. There's a few that think I'm crazy, but we did it not for reasons of, you know, wanting to save the animals. I mean, that's, that's a nice side benefit, but, um, we did it for health reasons and the health benefits have been truly, truly amazing. Penny! Oh, yeah, I haven't, there's some things I haven't explored yet, and I need to explore more. All right, let's get this one. Um, so, Penny, we have somebody new here today. Her name is Jen, and she is Little Home in the Valley. And Jen, the reason I don't go live, I think I mentioned this on Thursdays, is because we have a friend who goes live and had been going live long before I started my channel. And I did not want to compete with her. So, um, so Jen, that friend is Penny Pudge, who just came in. And she'll be live tomorrow. So we all head over to Penny's. She goes live, I think, about the same time I do, isn't it? 
I think it's about I think it's about 8:30 my time. We're at an hour and 16 minutes already. I've been talking so much. We haven't got a whole lot done this session. I'll do a flip through when we're done. So Jen can see it and you guys can all see and see what we worked on. But I do want to get this. I do want to get this done, this page. Yeah, that didn't. I'm going to have to tie it in a knot. Um, Penny Pudge, Marty just put in her um, link so you guys can go and look at and see her um, channel link. <laughs> yeah, you never know what Penny's going to pull out from under her table, do you? Okay, that took a minute to get done. I'm going to leave those kind of long. This got all been out of shape, though. There we go. All right. Now it wants to go up to the top. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to cheat a little bit and put a little bit of glue under here. And that bottle doesn't work. I knew that. Let's do Fabri-Tac. Yeah, Penny pulls out some fun stuff from out, out from underneath her desk. There. That's about as good a bow as I'm going to get. I'm not a good bow maker. All right, so this little scrappy pad goes in here. Oh, look at how cute. And then, what did I do with it? This is going to go as a fabric flip over the top. And then we'll put something on the front of us. Yeah, I've tried to pick out some fun ones, Penny. And I'll probably... Put a little piece of, and then we'll we'll find something to put on the front of this, like a bird or flowers or something. But I thought I had another, there it is, another little piece of this lace. What about that at the top? Isn't that pretty? Kind of cover up that top edge. Bonnie. Bonnie, we've got a new member. Her name is Jen, and her name on screen is... 
is. Let me find it. Little Home in the Valley. I remember Jen, but I don't remember the longer name. <laughs> and she found us searching YouTube. So uh, tell me something, Jen, if you wouldn't mind. What term did you use to search on? Because I want to make sure I'm putting that in my keywords as I'm posting videos. If you found us through search, what did you search on? Junk journals? All right, so there's that. What shall we put on the front of it? And then here's this little scrappy pad here. For those of you who just came in, here are the papers we put in it. This pretty blue one. And then I have a coffee dyed. And then I've got this one and a piece of packing material. And then this one and a piece of mulberry paper and this one. And then I have a piece of tissue paper, and then I have that one. Junk journal tutorial. Okay. I will make sure that I have those terms in my search. All right, so that's that. What shall we put on the front, do you guys think? What should go on the front? You know what? I have, and I don't know where I put them. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Look what I have, and they're gray and yellow. You can't make this stuff up. You can't make it up. It's just here. We could do a little kite here. Because who doesn't love a kite in the springtime? How about if we just put two little kites on there? I'm going to zoom out a little bit again. Yeah, kites are springy, aren't they? Ooh, Jen, we have a lot in common. I haven't lived all over the world, but I have traveled all over the world. <clears throat> we'll have to share stories sometimes. All right. You guys like the kites? Kind of put them at varying heights. Yep, I think they're cute, too. And a great spring because um, we all fly kites in the spring, right? On those windy spring days. Yeah, periodically I'll tell stories in here about some of my adventures <clears throat> in my travels. I traveled for work.
And then I'll put these little bows. I didn't know if I was going to be able to find these. And I had no idea. Isn't it funny how things are <laughs> going to make some kites? These are very three-dimensional. They have like little wooden pieces, crossways. They're very dimensional. I do too, Penny. And then I was thinking maybe what I'll do, not right now, but um, maybe what I'll do. Oh, and Jen, we usually go for an hour and a half. I start at 8.30 Eastern time. And then we usually go for about an hour and a half. Sometimes a little less if I finish up early and I don't want to get started on another thing. And sometimes a little longer if we're in the middle of something and we just want to get it finished up. And I think I'm going to leave Origami Kite. Oh. Wow. Um... Well, I lived in Panama when I was young, and I too have traveled all over Europe. I've um, been to Germany. Um, I've been to a lot of countries, and um, but again, it was for work. Uh, a few times to go to every state. That's cool. Um. You know, of course, France and, you know, Italy and England and I've been to Ireland. Um, and You hear that story? <laughs> Just leave you in Wyoming. I've been to Asia. I've been, um, you know, technically Australia is in Asia. Um, so I've been to Australia. I've been to Singapore a couple of times. I've been to Japan. I've been to China. I've been to Indonesia. Um... see anywhere else in Asia I think that's it oh India did I say India I've been to India um all over Europe and then in South America I've been to um Peru and um Argentina and Brazil and then Central America I lived in Panama so I think what I'm going to do on this page this flip I'm not going to do it right now because we're at one hour and 30 minutes, but I think I'm going to get the word, I'm going to print out the word spring and put it somewhere on here. Maybe up here where the lace is. I don't know, but I think I'm going to put the word spring on there. But look at that. Isn't that just sweet? And the colors are just so matching. All right, let's do a quick flip through of this signature. We don't have much left to go. All right. Here's the cover, and I still need to scotch guard it and stitch it around. But there's the cover, or that way, one or the other. We still, we I know we took a vote, um, and I think people were choosing this as the front just because it was more white, and if it was the other way, it might get dirty. But I am going to scotch guard it, so... <laughs> yeah, I've been I've been all over. I haven't been to Alaska or Maine either. I lived in Hawaii too for a while, Bonnie. When I was 
five, my dad was in the service and um, they sent him to Vietnam and they sent us to live in Hawaii. All right, so let's do a flip through of this beast. It's getting kind of thick. Chunky monkey, but it'll fit fine in this cover. It'll be just, it'll be perfect. All right, so here's the first page, just decorative. And we have a writing page. And then we have this little bag with a little writing card in it. Oh, one of my favorite pages. This one had the rice paper and the bird, and this is light enough you could write on it. And then on this side, we have this little tuck spot with this tag. And then we have this little volley band, 86 to 90. I was there in 69. No, I wasn't 10. I was five. Um, five, 64 and 65. Look at this beautiful card with that little tiny piece of lace on the bottom. And then I just put a piece of writing paper in here. On my bucket list is to go to Barcelona because I read about it in a book and it made me want to go there. Rice paper reminds me, does anyone know? Oh, never heard of onion peel paper. And we have this writing page. We'll have to do something to it. This one has a sticker on it. This has got a piece of uh, tracing paper over it, but I need to kind of ink gray more around the edges and then this is the page we just did this page has a pocket a little doily and an applique and then it's got this little card oh this is our center spread and i need to cut this one down so it fits so these four are pockets these are just glued on because they're in the middle and then each pocket has a little tag in, and I need to put some sorry silk in each of these, and I need to cut this one down a little because a little too wide to fit in there. But that's our center page. And then we have the belly band page. Over here we've got a little butterfly with some black thread around it. And then over here... We have, um, this is tissue paper in the back, I've got a belly band with flowers all over it, and then I've got this big old card that goes in there, or tag. Need to do something with this page, a little something, not a lot, and this. And then this we did yesterday. This is our, um, I had made this snippet roll that was fabric, I'm sorry, it was, um, paper and lace and so we use that to make a little side tuck and then I had this envelope that's what I was afraid of don't do that to me there all right and then in here we had a piece of spring writing paper And that just tucks in there. And then this is the front, shine like a diamond. And we've got some little sparklies on here. That goes there. And something here. This is an envelope. This needs a little more, I don't know, um, a piece of paper back in there or something. But this is a napkin and some lace side. And we used it to cover that envelope piece. But I don't. Did I leave this open? Oh, I no. I tend to leave things open. Okay, I did. So I left this open here too as a tuck spot. So you could put something in there. Okay, and I've got that little card. And then this page has a pocket. 
and a tag. This tag has a lot going on. Um, there's a little envelope glued on here, and in it is a little card for journaling. And then there's a little paper clip holding it closed. And inside is another little card. That's actually, oh, look what I did there. Isn't that cute? See, I forget about that kind of stuff. Another little Uh, yeah, and then that goes in there, and then there's the last page. We need to do something with that, something with that. So we still have a few pages to decorate, but that's the journal. <laughs> yeah, I forget sometimes. Bye, Maria. Well, we're getting ready to sign off anyway, so. Yeah, the rice paper. This page right here, this is rice paper. With a cutout bird on it. So anyway, that's the journal. Still a few pages to decorate. Um, and then we got to figure out something for the cover. So Maria, have a wonderful day at work. And for everybody else, if you haven't done a thumbs up yet, please give me a thumbs up. And thanks, Darla. Um, of course, everybody should say thank you because everybody contributed. And it just, there's so many cool things in here. So many cool things. All right. I'm going to let you all go because I got to head out to that freezer and get to working out there. Um, yeah. Can I do it when we come back on Friday? Because it's after 1.30. And maybe we'll, maybe we'll do something with rice paper on one of the other pages. Yes, come back and comment so that you get in that Happy Mail drawing. I don't know what it's going to be for this month, but it'll be something good. Um, yeah, so come back on Friday. We're at Penny's tomorrow, but Friday I'll be back. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll come back and I'll show you how I put down rice paper. All right, everybody have a wonderful day. Thumbs up if you haven't. Know that I love you all. And Jen, welcome, welcome to the group. And we have some others in here who were very recently new, and now they're, now they're regulars. So you'll be a regular soon, too. Bye, everybody. I'll see you Thursday. Well, I'll see you tomorrow at Penny's, and then I'll see you fr Friday here. All right. Bye.